Good evening. I have known Laura for well, for more than 30 years. My initial encounter with her was I was when she was secretary of the a Chicago AACT, and I was chairperson way back in the day. In addition to her volunteer work, she has been uh, the Bell Flavor sales per person to me at Hershey. Through the years, this business relationship has taken that rare path to a friendship to where she is now part of our family. Laura has a positive, persuasive attitude. This is an excellent trait which serves her and her business associates very well. This being said, there is no mountain too high nor task too great that Laura will not complete. If you leave her alone, or let her do her thing, the world becomes her oyster to shuck, leaving those in her wake in a much better place with her and her clients' goals being accomplished. Community service, along with a continued passion and focus for the betterment and growth of the industry, are actions which Laura portrays and what the Candy Hall of Fame is all about. It is a pleasure and an honor to present to you Laura Ann Christian as a member of the Candy Hall of Fame, class of 2018. Yikes. If I get through this, I'll be good. Thank you, Bob. We have known each other a very long time and we have had a lot of memories. Tonight adds to our collection. I am very happy you're here to share in this with me. I just thank you. Thanks to the NCSA for such an incredible honor. I will never understand why me. I follow my heart, I do what I love. And yes, I love people and I feel like I'm gonna re react and respond to everything Teresa just said, repeat. But nonetheless, I am so touched, honored, and grateful to all of those that have supported me and believed in me over the years. This is the best industry. Congratulations to my fellow 2018 fellow inductees. We have graduated, and what a diploma this is. Standing up here amongst this caliber of people, along with the icons that have t come before us, it leaves me speechless, and anyone that knows me knows I'm not easily speechless. <laughs> it is no secret. I am an open and honest person. I don't beat around the bush, and I say how it is. Jim, I know you can attest to that. Some people call it stubborn. I choose not to use that word. I am that way because of my passion, my sensitive, sometimes a little too much, driven, and I care. I care about the people, the product, the process, all of it. I truly do care. My entire working career was not meant to be in this industry. It was meant to be in special education. And when I didn't go back for my graduate um, degree after graduating college early, and I went to work with Bell Flavors, it was a fluke that I happened to be there. And I'm still there. I, I don't know how to go anywhere. People can talk and compare about, no, um, about previous jobs they've had. I can't, I can't talk about anything. I have been fortunate and blessed to have found one job that I have absolutely loved from the get-go. And I have to say, thank God I can't see faces. Thank you to Jim, Buzz, the Heinz family, and what we call our Bell family for allowing me to be me and grow at my own pace and speed. I have had that fortune. My introduction to the candy industry does come alongside Bell. I was urged to attend, as Teresa said, the Chicago AACT monthly meetings. Holding on petrified to the shirt tails of Dominic Olson and some other people, I went. And after a while, you realize people, they're just people. And they have the heart, same hearts and passion that you have. And you learn. So I had continued going, I felt comfortable. Fast forward, I was on the board where I still stand. Reluctantly, oh no, I already said that. Okay, <laughs> following that, AACT made me comfortable enough to go on to PMCA and some other industry organizations because I realized how important it was to give back to the industry. Most recently was the student sector. 
for PMCA, for NCA, and it might be small jobs, but all giving back means something. There is nothing more gratifying than watching students who want to follow your passion and want to follow in your footsteps, even mine. For anyone questioning the volunteer work, absolutely do it, absolutely. It is okay to put down your phones and use your eyes, ears, and voices. The voice inflections and the visuals, they truly do tell the story, the human interaction. There are a few people I have to thank along the way who have impacted my career. Rob Nelson, you and your company, without knowing it, provided me my first real opportunity. You believed in me when I had no clue what I was doing at an, at an NCA event way back when. 30 plus years later, you still believe in me, and that speaks volumes. Michael Rosenberg, Mitchell Goetz, and the late Sal Ferrara have continuously inspired me with never-ending wit. I saw Michael's wit again today. Passion, generosity, and the constant drive for the betterment of this industry, the greatest industry. LJ Buffardi and Bob Husenick, you are two AACT chair people that I served with back in the day who encouraged me to get out of my bubble and do things I did not feel comfortable doing, making me a better person and standing here today. My industry sisters, Libby Taylor, Mary Beth Geraci, who whom I could not do this without this event. Shelly Clary, Catherine Clark, Lisa Shapiro, Teresa Tarantino, the goddess of this event, Danielle Montana, to name a few. Your friendships and guidance have kept me going and kept me semi-strong. I would be remiss if I did not also give a shout out to some of the staples who have served on the NCA Supplier Committee with me over the years. Ross, Fred, Ed, Phil, Lee, Mark, John, almost done, Patrick, Graham, and Jim. If I missed anyone, I know you know who you are, and I apologize. A final thank you to my brother, Doug, who is representing my family tonight and is missing his own personal event back home, and my oldest friend in the world, Marcia, who insisted on being here for me who I've known since the age of one. You have both experienced absolutely everything with me, ups, downs, we've had it all, and been with me the whole time. I am forever grateful to you too. This industry has consumed me for the better part of 37 years. I wouldn't have it any other way. To work in this industry, it isn't a job, it's a way of life. It is an awesome way of life. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for this unbelievable, unreal, incredible honor. Thank you.